friend tonight, look. Pet sheep. Ooh. Careful, it's windy. You can see we're at beach today. But I'm going there after. Firstly, I'm going on a hike about six or seven miles, something like that. But uh, yeah, I'm going on that beach. I'm going to go on that beach afterwards once I'm finished. <laughs> Definitely going to go in the water as well. It's such a nice day. It's about 22 degrees today. No clouds at all, so it's just perfect. I want to do a hike first, so then on the way back I'll go on that beach. See where it takes me. There's a few things along the way to look at. I mean, it looks like such a nice beach as well. The car park's almost already full. I mean, literally, as here at nine, probably be ten o'clock, something like that. It's already like so full. Let's see. Massive as well, definitely gonna go for a swim later on. Ooh, look at this. God, that's close. Alright, I'm just going to have a quick look at this little cove here. There's all root down. It's dicey though. Oh, I made it. Not too bad. I'm not sure you can actually go on this hiking trail today. I think there's some, there's like a military base down there. I think they're doing some like exercises or something. Shooting range. I thought we might just have to have a beach day. So clear as well. Right, so I'm on the second, on the other side now. So I'll just have a look what's down here, see if I can actually get down here. It's a shame though, there's a lot of things to see on this coastline. I literally went on the other side, you can't get down there either. So it's a whole coastline of exactly where I wanted to go. That you can't go to. Don't know how long it goes on for, but most likely it'll be all week. I'll see if you can check somehow, but I doubt it. It's a shame because I was looking forward to hiking down there. Yeah, there's a few things to see, but no, it doesn't matter. 
I'll just have a look down here, see if I can see what's down here. And just chill on the beach for a bit. Yeah, it looks like I can go down here. Let's go all the way down to the edge, see what's down there. Yeah, it's still a nice hike anyway. Not what I planned anyway, but... Oh well. I'll come back there another time. So I've got some good views here though. A little private beach. If you had a kayak, you'd be able to go to places like this. Oh. Incredible. That's a steep drop, flipping out. <laughs> Good at that. Incredible views out here. <laughs> a little cove. Heck of a drop though. I'm gonna go too close. Maybe I should get into kayaking because you can go to places like this then. You have your own beach. See it from a different perspective. I'll have to think about it, your hobby. I think these are for rock climbing. These little pegs all the way down. Look at this view. It's got a 360. Freezing.
fresh in there. <laughs> Not careful to get this wet. I've got my waterproof uh, case for it. I forgot it. Wash. Wash my hair. Salty shampoo. The tide's coming in quick as well. It's no bag. So if you're wondering how I uh, just had a shower just then, you might have seen I had like a hose thing. So I've got this little porter shower thing. I've only just got this recently actually. And basically you just, it has, holds about five litres of water. Uh, let's have a look. So I've used about, about two litres I think. So I've probably got enough for another shower, at least. And basically, you just... This works on pressure, you just put this down, build up the pressure, and then, there you go, shower. It's actually pretty decent as well. And then once you've used it, you just like push this up, I think. This little thing here. This gets rid of the pressure. It's pretty good, there's only I think 30 pounds or something like that. Amazon or something. So it's pretty decent really. Gives you two showers, not bad. Nice bit of kit to have as well, even if you've got a bigger van, that's that's still really great to have. Something like that. Especially find somewhere nice and remote like this, there's no, nothing around. I literally, this there was a van here not long ago, but it's gone. But literally, there's nothing. Just sheep. It's a really nice place, actually. It's a van. It was like being in Scotland again. Yeah, I'm quite impressed with that shower because it's the first time I've used it. I literally got it after my Scotland trip because I was thinking oh, I could do with like something to have a shower. That's perfect. I saw this on a, a YouTube, someone else on YouTube had one of these. I thought wow that's a really cool idea. Called uh, Who's a Lock? Who's Lock? I got a friend tonight, though. Pet sheep. Wee. He's not scared of me. What are you doing? I don't think he's going to budge. I'm 
trap to. Going for a quick hike up this, uh, this little mountain thing. This is some like Bronze Age burial thing up here or something. I'll quickly, uh, quickly check it out. Someone else has gone up there as well. Yeah, it needs a clean actually. A bit where my fuel's leaked out or something, I have to fill it up. <laughs> Good day. Right, so I think it's up there, this little mountain thing. Just gonna have a quick hike. Evening hike, I've got the time. It's in the morning, I want to leave early. So we will get parked up for free near this waterfall. It's like a small car park you can get you get probably like 80 cars in it. Otherwise you've got to pay like five pounds but I've got no change. I've run out today because it's fucking six pound parking. It's beachy. So I get up like 5 a.m. It's around set off. They get there for about eight or something like that. Maybe even earlier. Get this a little pond or something. A meteor, right? <laughs> Crater. Ooh. Careful of snakes and stuff, though, in here. So, keeps me on edge, like these grasslands. Don't know what the fuck's lurking about. Well, we're not far off now. Just up here. Serve that it looks. It's all up hill as well. But on the way back down it'd be nice and easy. Luckily. My leg is a good workout as well. Get some calf muscles, get rid of those chicken legs. <laughs> but yeah, it's worth it. Otherwise I'd just be sitting in my van, might as well do something. It's a nice walk. Right where I'm going to sleep in tonight, might as well explore like I did yesterday. Places like this you wouldn't come to otherwise. You know, I wouldn't have parked there unless I come up here at all. What's the fun about van life, wild camping, all these things? You just find things you wouldn't normally go to. And this is sort of one of them. It doesn't look Bronze Age. It's not that old back has been there, but I suppose it has. or something.
Hikers. See, really, it's just a load of old rocks piled on top of each other by people thousands of years ago. There might be something buried under it. I don't know if they've excavated it. Not much left. I'm sure there's some more down there as well on the other hill. Respect, out of respect, but it's a bit disrespectful if you do that. Oh yeah, there's, there's a couple. Must be all over this uh, these hills, hillsides. It does look like people have climbed on it though. even little tiny ones probably maybe these ones are from big battles and they put like 30 people in it or something a mass grave, don't know I've no idea that's one heck of a view though Stay for sunset, but I think I'd head back. I've got to sleep early, I'm gonna get up early tomorrow. Get up at like four, I think, or something really early to get there for as soon as I can. I mean, it's not clear. I can't walk to any time, so I really want to get there as soon as I can. Yeah. Places like this, just like a 10 20 minute drive, but you could just end up here somewhere like this and just explore. I suppose you'd get sick if you went to the same place. I'd like to go if I had somewhere like this to hike to every now and then. I'd love to take some pictures and stuff. worth coming up here though, it's worth, you know, going uphill for a mile or so, just a quick look. Yeah, just got me the most of the way away.
still here. Oh, lazy. We're on either side there this time. The vehicle stop me from leaving in the morning. It's fine.